Let's see here. <laughs> All right then. I thought she was past this kind of damage from these weak weaklings. This is die, I guess. <laughs> how am I? I mean, like, how am I supposed to throw that to her? She's gonna freaking die if I do that. Somebody who hasn't moved at all yet to be thrown over there. No, well, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Let's roll. a very productive start this time. Wow, seriously? Not one counterattack. That I'm shocked. Utterly shocked. Wow. Oh, 
the hell can't she move? Did I not just pick her up? What the fuck is happening here, man? Oh, that was a kill. Whew. Wow. Wow, bro. Wow. Really. Dear God! Yay! The game is just trying to piss me off. Dude, I swear to God, man. <laughs> Seriously. Can't he be thrown there? Somebody please explain to me what is happening. Hey! Do it! Oops. Ha. Oh. Ha. Go. oh, she can do it just fine, huh? Yeah. And that's something. Okay, well that's good enough. I just, I couldn't go with her being level one. That's just stupid. <sighs> what have I done? I was blinded by the title and destroyed Mao's mind. Now it's like, who's the real demon here? Bamboo. Yeah, I have to turn Mao back to normal. If things stay like this, I won't feel human in my heart, even with the title. I can't be proud to be a hero. Bablu! I have to go into his heart. Immediately! Bablu! Oh, there, there. <gasps> what now, Sir Mel? Are you hungry? As a matter of fact, I smell something toasty and savory. Ah, uh, 
But I need to free the princess from this dangerous netherworld as soon as I can! Someone tell me! What am I supposed to do? Your current mindset is nasty! Tasteless! Boom! That voice! Could it be Mr. Champloo? I can see the doubt in your heart. Being unable to decide on a single dish will make all the dishes cold. Chasing after two hairs will get you none. Will you neglect the dish you should be eating and ruin everything? Teacher, what is this weirdo talking about? I agree that it must sound strange, but to that man, my words should be piercing through like a peeled onion. Doubt in the heart is doubt in taste. To abandon a friend and call yourself a hero hurts my side like food poisoning. Friend? But I must protect the princess. <laughs> you little coward! You're using me as an excuse? I didn't think you were that miserable. But princess... Huh? My voice won't come out. A hero must answer the call of the voiceless voices. Huh? Why does the princess know the oaths of a hero? Will you abandon Sir Mal who can't even speak? Shouldn't a true hero save every suffering soul without hesitation? To see what is right and not do it is cowardice. I will save Sir Mao alone. I can't abandon a classmate in danger. What? Princess? Alone? Babu. Oh, no need to thank me. I am guilty of wanting to see more of the inside of a demon's heart. But that is a secret. Sir Mao, you wait here. I will leave this pitiful, unreliable man behind and go on alone. <laughs> she called me pitiful. I'm done for. Please let me die. I, uh, I came to slap some spirit into you, but that girl beat me to it. Truly a promising student. <coughs> it's over. I can't go on anymore. <laughs> a pitiful and unreliable man. There's nothing wrong with that. Boy, now is your chance. For what? An empty stomach is the best spice. That girl's heart is hungry right now. You must observe what she desires. When you see what she wants, even if it's a crumb of a cracker, it will be the best feast to cure her hunger. Wait, I don't get it. What's not to get? That girl hopes for you to stand with courage like the high heat on the stove. What? That's impossible. A pitiful, unreliable guy like me is, at best, the low heat for simmering. Fool! Stir-frying on low heat for fear of burning will only yield you watery slop! Do not fear the flames! The pan over high heat is what makes a delicious and crisp vegetable stir-fry! Boom! What the lady hopes for is not a man who will take her away <laughs> from the flame, or in other words, danger. She awaits a true man who will jump into the fire and save her from those dangers. So that's what it was? The princess sensed my hesitation and purposely said those harsh words. Ah, how stupid could I be? I didn't even notice her grateful words of inspiration. I'm truly a lucky man to have the princess hoping for my help. Thank you very much, teacher. No, let me call you master. All right, now listen, boy. As long as you live, you will run into doubts. You need not stress over them. Do not let your opportunity slip away. Time will change the taste. Hesitating may burn the dish and ruin everything. Follow the path of taste. Young one, go forth on high heat. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm going after her. Princess, please wait for me. Bamboo. Huh? Don't tug at my clothes, Mal. Huh? What? You need to go pee? Mal, I can't bear seeing you like this. What in the world happened here? You're supposed to be my rival. Miss Barrel? Fake hero, will Mal be back to normal? Yes, I'll do everything I can to turn him back. Are you going to come with us? Nah, I'll pass on this. I got another class soon. <laughs> <laughs> and to think this is my rival. I can't watch this anymore. Huh, she's gone. All right. I need to chase after the princess. <laughs> Boo -boo! Uh, what? You want to come too? 
Blue, blue. Princess! Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. Princess. I'm sure that hell strike must have hurt pretty bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Princess, I... You don't need to say anything. Let's go together. Princess, it's my fault Mal turned out like this. So why are you risking yourself by jumping into more danger? If I didn't come... But see, here you are. Isn't that enough? Princess... If you didn't come, then it would have been my fault for misjudging you. Of course, I might have gone back to slash you to pieces to vent my anger. You saved your own life. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee, princess. And did you forget why I came to the netherworld? I entered the heart for my own personal reasons as well. But it's so reckless of you to want to defeat the overlord yourself. You think so too? Of course I do. That's why I... Why you what? Uh, nothing. I can't tell her I came to defeat the Overlord for her. I got caught by a demon, was robbed of my hero title, and here I am, in a messy situation. You know, it's quite comfortable in the Netherworld. Demons don't distance me from being a princess. Some even attack. M princess? No one complains that I won't stay guarded, or I'm stronger than the knights. I feel so lighthearted. I get along better with demons than humans. More so than I expected. Don't say that. Demons are cold and heartless and even try to kill their parents. Demons are cold and heartless, huh? Then maybe I truly am a demon. What? I have no tears. I've never cried once in my life. I couldn't cry even when my parents and other loved ones died. Many heroes passed away, challenging the Overlord. You see, I am heartless. There's probably no one left who would cry for me when I'm gone. That's why I decided to defeat the Overlord myself. It might simply be that I want to disappear from this world. But... It's impossible for the princess to be heartless. Even now, she looked like she was about to cry. I'm so stupid. I saw her in person and got excited and wasn't looking at the princess. I didn't know she had chosen to do this because she felt this way. How can I protect her without even recognizing her problems? Courage. A million times stronger? What am I? Guards are tougher than before. Even though his heart's open, why? It's as if they're trying to interfere with us. I get the feeling they don't want us to set Sir Mal back to normal. Huh? Who's pulling on my skirt? Oh, if you lift it, it's over. I can't guarantee your life. <laughs> oh, it's you, Sir Mal. What's wrong? Oh, is that so? Looks like we're allowed to beat these guys down. Princess, you can understand what Mal's saying? No, I just thought it would be a lot easier if that was the case. <laughs> That's so irresponsible. Won't let you through, me. Whoa, they're coming!
Leave it to me! Here I go! Yeah. 